I have a confession to make. I love tiny nudibranchs. Nudibranchs are marine gastropods that come in an overwhelming variety of colors, shapes, and sizes. Here I'm going to be showing you some of the tinier ones that you can find in Southern California tide pools. This is Olive's nudibranch. You can find him from Southern California down to the Baja Peninsula. They only reach a maximum length of about 20 millimeters. This one was maybe half that, as the only thing really visible to me were those bright red rhinophores it uses to smell the world around it. Rhinophores detect chemicals dissolved in the seawater, which tip off nudibranchs as to how close they are to a food source and where they are in general. For obvious reasons, I decided to name this cute little guy Big Red. This orange fellow is found along the entire California coast, but it's also been reported in Costa Rica, Ecuador, and Japan, making it what's known as a tramp species. This means he's a little hitchhiker snagging rides across the globe on seaworthy vessels. So much adventure in his tiny heart. They can grow up to 20 millimeters in length, making this guy just about full size. This guy was so small that I couldn't even tell what he was until seeing his camera close up. It's a speckled triopha, aptly named for the tiny white freckles dotting its body. They're found all along the Pacific coast from Baja to Vancouver, mostly reaching about two inches in length, but have been recorded up to as much as seven inches. Speckled triophas come in many color variations, from orange and red to dark brown. Although those darling freckles are always present, they too can range from white to bluish. Ah, this little beauty has a special place in my heart. They're commonly known as the opalescent nudibranch, but I call them opies for short. You can see flecks of what look like embedded moonstone running throughout the body that appear to glow when caught in just the right light. These guys grow to about two inches and can vary in color depending on locality, but you'll always find that orange stripe running down their back. Opies feed on hydroids and anemones, not just because they're yummy, but also to steal the anemone stinging abilities by storing these harpoon-like structures called nematocysts in the tips of the opie serrata. That kind of protection comes in handy. They'll sometimes attack and eat other smaller nudibranchs, including members of its own species. So tiny opies beware, big opies might be coming for you. There are a lot more nudies where these came from, so make sure to check out thefeaturedcreature.com.